let's 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 let all of YouTube and the like 15 people who are watching this video know. The reason why I stopped YouTube is because I didn't get as much response as I was looking for, which yeah, might be a little bit greedy, but I've been doing this for 11 years off and on, and I have 700 subscribers. You know, my enthusiasm can only last so long before I want to move on to other things, like doing weird interactive porn comics, or doing... Why don't you advertise that here? God, no. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just... Like that's that's why that's why the production stopped for so long, and I'm only doing this now because eh, fuck it, I'm having a lot of fun, and I really like the subject matter. I'm I'm literally doing the the Shadowgate stuff for you and me, uh, Captain, because we have oh, so yeah, much I'd... so many good memories of the original oh, game. And I figured, you know what, fuck it, let's let's do the full the full mont. Well, I'm doing a half Monty. Honestly, I, I, I am not actually watching these videos. Like, I'm doing a very, very skim uh, selection when I go through editing. Like, I'm skipping two, three minutes at a time because I'm like, okay, come on. I got anime to watch. Let's move, right? <laughs> and, uh, but, you know, I am at least spending time of doing a new, a new splash screen, which are kind of fun because I finally got to draw... Doom Lad and all of his green glory, which I think I sent to you guys. Um, yeah, it looks good. So it's like that's. I'm not a good promoter. I will never be a good promoter. It's not my gig, and I'd rather spend the time making stuff. And this stuff will probably outlive me. And sometime, way, way in the future, after I'm dead. Somebody will find these, and they'll probably say something akin to, that's a shame. But it's not, because they found it, and that's the way my YouTube channel has always been. The back corner of YouTube, with the obscure little hallway that you go down and you see some crazy old man playing Minecraft or, or whatever, or Shadowgate. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. That's good enough. So, um, so uh, um, why, why does why does Grim have a uh, have a bandage on one arm? I don't know. It just happened. Okay, well, he, fair he, enough. Uh, it was supposed to be Hey Month or, or eating Victory Pork. Oh yeah, uh, it was. <laughs> so it, I didn't realize. Victory pork. <laughs> I didn't realize that the bandage was a. Um, God no, because even back in the uh, in the Nintendo, you know, I don't know where it came from. It just happened. <laughs> it it Fair made enough. it made the outfit asymmetrical. You know, the armor of the avatar plus a bandage just makes it asymmetrical and makes it pretty. <laughs> well, we've we've died enough for you to need it. <laughs> uh, so here we are. Let's get back to it, shall we, gentlemen? You, How are you, gentlemen? You, you. <laughs> all, all your living uh, castle of the undead are belong to us. Yeah, we have no chance to survive. We'll make our time. <clears throat> what you say? Uh, Let's move Zig next for great justice. <laughs> um, we've got a couple of mysteries and a lot of skulls and a couple of cushions. We have probably at least two of the five pieces we need to make this whole th shit work. We don't have the bladed sun. We do have a broken flute, and I suspect we need to repair it. Um, yeah, and then we just have a whole other bunch of bullshit. I so. suspect that that flute is a red herring. Oh, we have the regular flute. What happens if I play the regular flute now? Hmm. Um, I do notice something. What's that? Oh, oh no. Now, oh, it just flutes. Okay. Go back to the flute real quick. Go back to it. Oh, okay. Here's a flute. Look at look at the broken flute. Okay. How, how many holes does the broken flute have? Uh, three. three? Yeah. Why do you how remember that? How many holes do our... Listen. <laughs> all right, all right. Let me look at the other flute. 
Uh, made from some wood. One hole has been carved into it. It's just one hole. One hole. It needs yeah. more holes. What is a flute with one hole? That ain't a. What happens a if I move one flute to the other? Okay, I don't even know what I was expecting. I guess like straws, <laughs> just sort of sticking one flute in the other. Anyway, are you making a skull collection? Yeah, for the skull throne. Sorry, go on, Cap. <laughs> um. So it, it's not just it's not just an artistic thing. There is one hole in that flute. Now that maybe that's the way the the flute's supposed to be made. I don't know, but a flute with one hole is not is not really a flute. <laughs> so it's more like a yeah. kazoo. Pretty much, yes. Um. Anyway, moving on. Yeah. Um, we we can. I don't know what to do about that, or if there is anything to do about that. It's just something I have observed, and whenever you. Uh, Whenever you read the description, you notice it's not artistic. It is actually saying something about it only adds one hole. Yeah. Okay, one hole, three holes. But this flute is broken. How do we fix a broken flute? You've got that bandage. I, I did we try tried that. that. Didn't uh, work. What? Why is this not open? What oh, is this? Uh, to pick up the passes. Follow the paths of the ancient philosopher, historian, the bards, and the priestess from the Elden. Oh yeah, that tells you how to open the uh, library. Oh yeah, you're right. Why was that unopened? Like, weird. It must have been like a. And so, here's the other thing. Why fix the broken flute whenever you can just modify the oh, one you got? That's a good point. All right, let's try using the dirk on the blo broken f or on the working flute. Uh, you attempt to carve additional hole into the flute. The blade of the dirk is not up for the intricate task. Oh wow. You but, I mean, that does tell us something, doesn't it? it yeah. I believe it does. What about this other little knife? Yeah, the uh, the carving knife. Okay. Oh, I got an extra hole. Using the knife, you expertly nice. carve an additional hole in the flute. <laughs> so, do, does it need only one hole? Let's try using it a, another time. There's three holes. You expertly carve an additional hole in the flute. Should, should I go for broke? <laughs> What, why not? Why not? Yep, there's, there's no, we are now four holes into this flute. Yeah. Why stop there? There's simply no room to acquire your additional holes. All right, it is time to... God damn it, Cap. Thank God you're here. <laughs> Let's go to the music room and try this shit out. <clears throat> Um, what? Oh dear. I see you have run afoul of my traps. Still, you have managed to overcome them and make it this far. I shall concede that you are proving most resourceful. Did he say this? Yeah, he you said this shit. Discover your yeah, but we loaded after in vain. Did, did we? You know, let's yeah. quick save here. Um, I need to remember... Okay, it's the next floor up. Yep. All right. L let's start a concert. I have no idea what this will do. Since you're so good at overcoming my traps, here's a waifu. A waifu? Fuck yes! Zero two! <laughs> the girl of my dreams! <laughs> the only girl who will steal my clothes and throw them off a roof! Hell yes. Let's do this. The only body pillow I'll ever need. <laughs> Alright, here's here's the the altered flute. I feel like something's missing, guys. I mean, what other instruments would we need? I don't know. That's plenty enough for an orchestra. I mean, we, we fucking rock. I mean, there is that. 
What a handsome video smiling game figure. heroes can play four instruments at once. Well, I mean, Jer is very talented. I, I can't use these flutes, they're broken. <laughs> Nothing of note, very nice. Why do I have two mirrors? I don't know. I didn't realize you had two. Where did we get the second mirror? The invisible room. Where did we get the first mirror? All right. I think we took it out of one of the bags. Uh, I'm gonna pour some tea real quick. Oh god, fucking! My headphones are strangling me. All right. We're good. <laughs> I'll pour this to you for with some wonderful music in the background. Oh yeah, lemon tea. So okay. You know what? We have a, a mysterious key we never dealt with. What is the, what is the deal with this key? Um, there's a door we haven't opened yet. That's what the deal is. Well, no, I tried the key on that door, I think. We can try it again. To the wizard's tower. We're in the wizard's tower. <laughs> this is still a mystery. Or it could just be, like, awesome. Oh, that's what F is. I guess for outfits. So we got a couple of weird ones, right? We got uh, massive twisty roots, all different. Mm. I expected there to be a door leading to the roof here for some reason. Yeah. Hen, hen low, unglued. All right, all right. I will try that other locked door again. I found this uh, this key way back in the caves. Yep. Which either means it's probably used in the caves, or it's the very last thing you use in the game. <laughs> Chekhov's key. Yeah. Um, he keeps talking about... <clears throat> okay, so the last thing he said was... Something about the, the wizard's room? Like we have we been to Yeah, Yorick mentioned Lackmere's room. Okay. A wizard as great as Lackmere, sure to keep items of power close at hand. There might be something in his tower room. That's that's the next place we need to go. Which because is which is his tower room? I don't know. We gotta we gotta figure out which tower his room is in. Uh landing, 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 music room, empty chamber, this thing. Uh, storeroom, this thing. That's the laughing room. Observatory. Uh, darkness. This is the genie room here. And the strong room. Three towers. they call it strong room. <laughs> Three towers, each of them missing a room that we haven't gone into. Oh, that's what we gotta figure out. That's, that's the... Uh... What That's about the goal for this evening? Let's, let's let's go bug the guy in the laughing room. Maybe you can tie off Jolly. bringing that mask let's from your uh, outfits. Day. That'd be nice. All right, let's take a look at this door. First off, a whistling fell wind forces its way around the edge of the door jam. Oh. Strange, there's a carved pumpkin on the wooden door. So we need to carve well, the pumpkin for this door. Well. Uh, okay, well, let's get to carving. That, that wasn't just a lark. <laughs> let's use a candle. I guess it doesn't matter which candle we use. All right. Can we use this in the door? Nothing happens when you use the pumpkin on the door. Try rubbing your torch on it to light it. Because last time it said you couldn't do that here. Uh, same thing. You feel like the magic prevents you from uh, lighting the jack-o'-lantern. Okay. Perhaps you needed to be enchant in an enchanted place first. 
As you knock on the door, you hear a point voice coming from the other side. You call that a costume? Come on! You need yeah, to put a little effort into it. I need the mask. Hmm. Try just using it on yourself. Well, I can't, and I'll show you why. You attempt to place the mask piece on your face, but it refuses to uh, stay in place. Put I, the bandage on the mask. Use bandage on mask. Nope, nothing happened. Uh, pumpkin head, wear the pumpkin. I can't, it's not in the outfit sections. I mean, you can use pumpkin on myself, but you stop your childish action. Damn, man, you didn't have to be, like, rough about it. So, I got this mask from the armor. Is there more to the mask in the armor? Or at least a clue of where to go next for the rest of the mask. Did you try putting it into your uh, goblin helmet? Hmm. Oh, yes, I did, just now. Okay, so let's look at this armor that I got the mask from, which is the far left one. I'm certain if it's a trick of the light, but you could have sworn the suit of armor just moved. Let's open it again. You open the visor and yell, Hello! Enjoying the, sound, the way the sound <laughs> echoes back. Huh. Wear the wizard hat? Oh, hell yeah. There we go. Exquisite. Um, but it's clearly the mask, right? It's clearly the Halloween mask we're trying to put on. Yep. Hmm. There we go. I just realized my little character in the corner now is, wear is wearing glasses. Yep. They are pretty tiny. Um, what does it look like when I put the bandage on? Ah, he's wearing a little bandage over his head. Hi. Uh, I am now covered in a blindfold. Um. I feel like we're close with this door, but... What are we missing? Take a closer look at this mask. Part of a face made from wood and painted to resemble an old crone's skin. I want it on me. Cat? cat? What are you doing? Oh, hells. The cat's chasing sunlight. Yeah. Cute, but, like, distracting. Alright, um... Hmm. Well, I'll put that in the back burner of my mind and see what else we can do here. Witches do what? Like, witches make potions. Seems unlikely that I'd have to use a potion on the mask. They... they toil. <laughs> and they cackle? Cat, did you just fart? <laughs> My cat's in that mood. That distraction. Yeah, gotta mood. stop feeding your cat beans. Stop feeding my cat. It was a joke, I'd never stop feeding your kid. She's not paying attention. Alright, um. <laughs> Eat a child? Which is eat children? Can I have a bit of your blood? I'm about to go on a date, and my date expects me to look nice. Can I have a little bit of your blood? <laughs> I 
Um. Shit monkeys, guys. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's let's drop the pumpkin room for a minute. Uh, what other room can we not get in? Uh, well, of course, there's the viney room at the top of the western tower. Let's check out the viney room. Well, we we've done that many times, uh, but there's yeah, also we tried stabbing it and burning it. Then there's Either the one. genie. Which, I mean, we can technically get into, but he just sends us backwards. Yeah. And then there's the roof for the West Tower. Hmm. Have I tried... Hang on. Just, first off, is this the West Tower? Have we tried climbing up the chimney? Ooh. I was going to try that iron key on the West Tower, but now that... Go chimney. No, the flu, while, uh, while massive, offers no handholds to, from which to crawl. Let's open the chimney. Look around for a latch or something. Nope. Okay. Um, look at chimney. Lining the far end of the banquet hall is a massive fireplace that sits cold and unused. Use torch on chimney. Uh, nope. Why is it saying there's stuff hidden up there? Use the hook on chimney. What might be hidden up there. And it doesn't necessarily guarantee there's something hidden up there. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> now, are you telling me there's a... Okay, there's a viney door? Yeah, there's a viney door. Yeah, at Let's the top of the tower. Out, check out the viney door. Okay. If we had some poison, we might be able to kill the vines. Why are you guys overcomplicating? Okay, how would you clear the vines? We've tried burning it. We've Punch tried burning them. it with a torch. Yeah, I guess that is uncomplicated, and that's been Captain's way of succeeding lately. <laughs> Did you cut it with a knife? <laughs> you, strike the, <laughs> you strike the tangle of greenery, and you're rewarded with a thorn embedded in your finger. Well... Use carving knife on door. This seems. Oh, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> How do you keep doing this? You can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> well, apparently, the uh, door is made of flute, or the vines are made of flute wood, because you can't carve them with your sword. You need a knife. Very spit the roots and vines cling to the ornate door, fade with a circular symbol, much. Like the days of the chamber under the courtyard is etched in the door. <laughs> well, here we are. Fucking hell, I'm loading. <laughs> uh, where's the quick save? Right here. I'm loading so as not to waste torchlight. Which means we may have to talk to that goddamn guy again. No, I think I, I saved after him. So unfair. Well. I was going to say, before you use that knife, uh, but I had my mic up. Nope, oh, nope, too late. Yep. <sighs> Oh, uh, oh, hello. What? What? How? Well, wow. It's a small chamber has literally been engulfed in roots and vines of all types that stem from a single point of the ceiling. You wonder what's up there and resolve to do something about it. You, you know what? That's really not the first thing on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It is a pretty impressive point. We uh, are we all just going to ignore the floating man? In the middle of the room? I mean, why I mean, he's are we a wizard, they about... do that. <laughs> <laughs> totally used to this by now. Well, let's talk to Lachmir. Uh, this root choked opening is once a window. Outside, you see a full fury of the thunderstorm beating down the surrounding mountain. The body of Lachmir, the timeless, flits above the floor. His expression is a fascinating mix of calm and concentration. He grimaces every now and then, as if in pain. Hi. You address Lachmir with a whispered tone. York chimes in helpfully. 
that one is in an astral state. He must have been desperate to subject himself to this. If his body were to die, then his spirit would be set adrift forever. Well, okay, that's, hmm, what's this thing below him? Trace on the floor, glowing circle, glimmering sparks of quiet, quiet, quiet power. You lift your eyes to the ceiling, your jaw drops in awe. You found the source of a strange floor that engulfs this room. Perhaps you should step in for a closer look, sure. You stand up on your tiptoes to get a closer look at the center of the root. So I think we found the bitter root. A mesmerizing mass of vines and roots emanate from the center of the ceiling. At the heart of the tangled confusion, a golden artifact glows with calming power. This golden piece of wood pulsates with an ancient power. <laughs> Is it pulsate? Without a doubt, the root you've seen thus far originates from this artifact. Let's steal it. Oh, that was easy. You pull the golden root the golden thorn from amongst the tangled roots the artifact resists at first but then sees your manliness and completely swoons to your touch yep. and then it's easily dislodged from the vines in that enshrouded whispered voice not unlike what you've heard in your dreams uh, on, on a summoning fills your head with a triumphant chorus what the fuck did I just do what is this? I bet it goes on the staff. Golden piece of wood pulsates with an ancient power. Huh. There's really nothing else to click on in here. Before the ceiling, the small changer is lit. Yeah, okay. Um, that was a hell of a thing. Yeah. Rig. I was kind of worried that would kill him. Unglued, you're the only person I've ever seen complain about winning that game. Um, <laughs> so... Yeah, it was pretty funny when uh, me and... Uh, uh, what was his name? We're dueling, and I, I won like eight times in a row. Now that's rigged. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Gives you a nasty shock. Eat Lackmere. Don't want to accomplish anything. Eat self. You bite down on your lower lip. Pain, the iron taste of blood explodes in your mouth. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea at the time. I doubt <laughs> that. Um, let me well, see. What's, what's in this other hole? What's... Well, this is a window, which yeah, we've okay. we've left the building out of windows before, and not not a good plan. So, and this is just the door that leads out. I think. Oh no, it Wait, doesn't. Do we know that because we can go back as well. Okay, what's this? What? Oh, okay. You drop to your yeah. knee and crawl through the grasping roots to a nook beyond. Amidst the tangled roots and vines lies a small nook housing a desk of various scholars, scholarly paraphernalia. Uh, who wants to read first? I'll go. Alright, well, here's this one. You read the annotated passage. The dawning of an age shall portend a chain to the power of earth and of the air. The rain shall end for all that walk the ways. For must among this is the Hyromoth? <laughs> sure. Who is set above all others. It is he that holds the key and wields the power of the stars. He stands against all, and all stand against him, great and terrible is his might. Let's take that. What do we got here? Uh, glass ball is empty. That that sounds wonderful. Let's take that. Uh, Captain, you're up next, I guess. Wait, you in? York sounds proud. You ever hear this one before? I was an impressive wizard myself once. Until I took a t an arrow to the neck. <laughs> Alright, Captain, you're up for this one. Whatever it is. The neat handwritten entry fills the page from edge to edge. My efforts have been rewarded as I have found the one. It is left to me to set him on his path. This I know, the magic I must attempt is formidable, and I have little 
acquaintance with astral conjurations. Though taxing, I need to remain in this stasis until the task is exhausted. My defenses will have to hold. The thorn has proven to be a valuable artifact and has thwarted Kahu's attempts to reach me. Well, not for long. <laughs> Was Kahu the woman or someone else? Maybe. Hey! Well, that's what we're looking for. That's not a witch. Uh, we got a scroll, a scroll, uh, an arrow. Let's take a look at what we got here. What is this? Looks like some sort of key. The engraving on this key resembles a lion breathing fire. So it is a key? This does not look like what I would think of as a key. Uh, I guess Doom Lad, you're next. I don't read these parchments anymore. It's too yep. filthy. It's your guys' <laughs> job now, right? Oh, holy shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Run it here. And that's all it says, apparently. In your mind's eye, you thingy McDeely. What does this do? <laughs> In your mind's eye, the symbol morphs into the word rent. Rooney tear. Since a release of detachment fills you as you stare at the glyph. A release of detachment. That's a double negative, isn't it? 